Good morning, everybody. I hope you had a sensational weekend. This morning, we are going to talk about mindfulness, mindful, mindfulness and meditation. So, as I've mentioned it in the past, but briefly, meditation and mindfulness actually restore the executive function of our brains. So it's it's almost like our little reset button. Good morning. So it's really like a little reset button. So good morning, Dale. Good morning, Helen. So when we practice mindfulness and meditation, I think some of us feel that it it's something that you need to stop doing absolutely everything that you're doing in the moment, sit cross-legged um, and try and empty your mind that's not necessarily what mindfulness and meditation is about. Okay, so yes, we do need to take the time out daily to reset the mind, especially when you know that your autonomic nervous system can get quite jangled. Yeah, what I mean by that is during the day, you're experiencing stress responses to conditioned things from probably your past is generally where all of these things come from. The the little triggers during the day set you off and then and that increases our stress and then our anxiety. So if we don't control that through mindfulness and meditation, we then get to the point where the body, as I've mentioned before, can get stuck in fight and fright. And you won't know necessarily know that you are there. That is what I'm trying to get across to people. Do you know... Have you actually sat down and acknowledged really how you feel? Have you actually done that? Because if you haven't sat back, if you'll go, 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 go. And what I mean by that is you just, you've got this huge to-do list and your whole day is ticking, ticking off all of these things that you need to get done by the end of the day. And you haven't taken time out to evaluate how you actually feel by the end of that day, you've not reset yourself at all. So the next morning you get up and it can be a little bit like Groundhog Day. I want to ask each and every one of you a question. What is the first thing that you think of as soon as you wake up in the morning? What's the first thing that comes into your mind? Is it positive or is it negative? How are you starting your day? Because how you start your day is how your day will continue. If you've started your day with, I don't know, uh, a problem. So maybe there's, you've got a problem. It could be a pro now problem or it could be a past problem or it could be something you're worried about in the future. Yeah. Let me point something out. If you wake up every morning and that first thing that pops into your head is something that is not positive, like, oh, today's a good day, I'm alive, look at the sun, it's sunny, or even if it's raining, great, we need the rain. If your mind is going to a problem and you wake up and you're already in stress response as soon as you wake up, how do you reckon you slept that night? Because my guess is you probably went to bed like that. So would it not make sense? that we actually start the day as we'd like the day conti to continue. And then at the end of that day, we reset the button. We reset the button. Because if you're living in your now, which I've mentioned, as you know, if you've watched all of my guides, you know that I mention this a lot. Unless you're living in the now and you're enjoying what you're doing in the moment, if you're in the past, you're, you're, you, you're going to suffer from stress and anxiety and depression. The same as if you're looking into your future with worry and stress. What can you do about those things that you're worrying about right in that moment that you're actually worrying about them? Probably nothing. There's probably nothing you can do. But if there is something you can do, can I ask the question as to why you're not then taking those steps? Is it because of fear? 
quite possibly it could be. Remember, this, these are the things that I can help you with. These things can be really quite simple to fix, even if we've been in this situation for years. Some of us sit in this situation for 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years, and I'm not joking. Some of the people that come to me have been holding, holding, babying, babying these problems that they think are problems for absolute decades. That's crazy, but we all do it. I put my hand up. I know this because I've done it. On occasion, I still do it. I still do things like apologize for something that I haven't done. Again, that's because of conditioned responses. So it's that acknowledgement. Right, I keep doing that. I'm going to stop doing that. I'm going to change that. Remember, I can't remember how many weeks ago. Stop. When you have that initial thought that you don't want, say to yourself, stop. And then out loud, say change, change. This is something I want to change. Tell your brain what you want. Tell it what you want. Not what you don't want, tell it what you want. So mindfulness, being in your moment and meditation. Mindfulness can be as simple as just, you could be driving, you could just, you could be sitting there, you could be cooking, you could be doing anything at all. Being mindful of where you're at is the first step to acknowledging what you've got going on. If you can't acknowledge it, you can't fix it. This is what I'm trying to get across to you guys. If you keep glossing over things that you know are causing you stress and anxiety and depression, you keep glossing over these things and you just keep keeping yourself busy so that you don't think about these things, guess what? They're going to be there the next morning and the next morning and the next morning. And before you go to bed, it's something you're probably going to think about. And again, you probably won't sleep really well because your mind, this unconscious part of the brain, we have zero control of, guys. You've got to remember you don't have control of this unless you take control of it, unless you say, stop, I need to get control of this. Am I perfect at doing it? Absolutely not. Am I getting, every day, am I getting a little bit better at doing it? Yes, I am. It is a, 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 a road that you need to travel though. Because otherwise you're just sitting in the one spot. You're not going anywhere. You can't move yourself forward. So meditation doesn't have to be sitting cross-legged trying to empty your mind. Meditation and mindfulness are being in your moment and acknowledging things, relaxing the mind, taking the breaths to calm the autonomic nervous system. Remember, you can either do the psychological side psychological sigh is a quick inhale in through the nose these are all scientifically proven things to do it is not just something that i've plucked off of facebook because it looked good they're scientifically proven facts psychological sigh quick breath in <coughs> might not be something you want to do in front of someone and then once you've taken that <coughs> short sharp breath in we finish the breath we finish the breath and then we exhale slowly through the nose. You do two or three of them and you're in control of your autonomic nervous system. Then we can start to think much clearer. If any of you really, really, really struggle and you want some meditation to listen to, remember this is what I do. I've put some meditations together for you to listen to in the morning to get your mind where you want it before you start your day. And then before you go to bed, listening to some mindful meditation again, just to calm that autonomic nervous system down. Can you imagine how much better you're going to sleep if you've actually got a calm mind? Your mind can't sleep if it's running over all of these little stories that we have in our mind. And it could be something you've got coming up. So it could be something in your future. It doesn't necessarily have to be something in your past, something you're worried about that you need to do. Maybe it's something new, something that's causing you a little bit of fear. Just remember, either way, it will be okay. How many times have you worried about something and you've really worried about it and then when the time comes and the situation has passed and you've done whatever it was you were worried about, how often is it you go, oh, that went really well. I had nothing to worry about. So why do we? 
It's conditioned responses. We get so used to doing that that we think it's something that we need to do to get through life. And that's just not the case at all. So take a few moments each day, whether it be listening to mu to some music with no, don't have any lyrics in music that you listen to for your mindfulness. Something that you love, something that calms you. It doesn't necessarily have to have any somebody telling you anything at all. But it's just, you don't need to empty the mind either. You just need to let thoughts come in and go out. We don't want to get into that, that circle of constant thought on one particular thing where you're probably not solving the problem anyway. You're probably just going over something somebody said or some, a situation that happened, going round and round and thinking about thinking about it, thinking about it, creating more stress and depression. Why would we do that? Because we get stuck in a loop. I've spoken about it. Anger loops, guilt loops, all these loops that we can get ourselves stuck into. So please, you need to take the time to acknowledge. You need to take the time to slow yourself down, stop rushing from one thing to the other. Do I need to remind myself of this all the time? Yes, I do. It doesn't come, it doesn't necessarily come naturally to us when you've been living a life in a certain way. You can't just change it in, in the click of a finger or the blink of an eye. You can't. It, it is a process that you need to take like anything else. It's a learning journey. So if you need some help and advice, remember, just book in a session with me, either one-on-one -on -one live or one-on-one -on -one live or online, either, either, or. So once I've finished this, this afternoon, when I post the, post, actually post the, the, the notes afterwards, that won't be until this afternoon, on there I'll have a link for you to book a chat with me so that we can start to help get this sorted out. If you haven't been able to fix it yourself thus far, maybe you need a little bit of help. So you have a wonderful day. Remember what I've said. Taking that moment to stop and breathe rather than rushing to your next thing. Take the moment to be a little bit more mindful. Remember, mindfulness is just acknowledging what you're feeling and then, and then pretty much moving on from that. There's lots of other bits and pieces. It depends on what you're going through. So I'm here if you need. You can book a session with me whenever you like. Have an absolutely fantastic day. I'll have all the notes in there, like I said, this afternoon. And I will see you all. Oh, no live next week. Um, I'm actually having next Monday off completely. So next Monday, there won't be any live, but I'll post something else that will hopefully give you a little bit of inspiration, make you think a little bit. So remember, you have to put yourself first at some point in your life. And if you've been putting yourself last forever, it is time to actually put yourself first. It is not being selfish. It is not being selfish. Remember that. Have a great day. See you, ladies. Bye.